Hey, man. Somebody say glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. One of the things we begin to understand is that Paul wrote and said, he said, henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. Henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. One thing to bear the marks of Jesus Christ, that when the mark of God comes upon you, amen, hallelujah, is that thing that begins to say in Psalm 101 verse 5, it says, henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Amen. Henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a mark. There is a mark. The mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a mark that is upon the vessels of God. There is a mark that when it comes upon you, it adverts every form of attack. Hallelujah. When this mark is upon you, they look at you in the realm of the spirit. They look at you through a mirror and they say, listen to me. That vessel, if you touch him, if you tamper with him, you will, you, 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 <laughs> the attack will go back to you. Hallelujah. That man is untouchable. That woman is untouchable. Amen. And many people are going around without a mark from the Lord. They're going with all kinds of mark. And when an enemy places a mark upon you, when a familiar spirit places a mark upon you, once you have been marked, whether you travel to Washington, D.C., or you travel to Africa, or you travel to America, that mark will follow you. Amen. And whoever it is that has placed a mark upon you, devils will begin to assign a, 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 attacks against your life. Amen. You're going to pray this prayer loud and clear. Say this loud and clear. Say, by the power in the blood of Jesus, every evil mark upon my life and destiny is rubbed off now by the blood. I rub off satanic mark. I rub off satanic mark. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let every satanic mark in my life be rubbed off now. Be rubbed off by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to thunder fire. Zekra baba 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 ya. Elaban tele bebe bebe bega baradia. Let every mark of the enemy over my life and destiny be wiped off by the blood. Be wiped off by the blood. I erase every evil mark. Lebrando raba baba baradia. Erondo bebe 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 baradia. Let the evil mark be erased. Be erased. Be erased. Shande laban tele bebe bega baya. Shada baba 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 baga bontolia. Rebebia barandi rebebia. Let the evil mark be erased by the blood. Every mark of hell, every mark of wickedness, every mark projected against me, I rub it off. I raise it by the blood. 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 Mangrondo zamban talabadelia. Rebebeke bia barandi ribebiam. Regede rebebeka barandia. Zumbla talaban telebebeka bia baradin. Let the evil mark of the enemy. Rababa, rababa, rebebeka barandin. Igon tolobon tolobobo your box. Ileben telebebeka paya. Ilaban telebebeka paya. Ilaban telebebeka padilia palabaya. Robo zumban talaban delia taya. Agay rababa babaya. Rababa rababa ka shante. Ilege deleben deleben mega bia barandun. Lord, let it be raised. I raise it by the blood. I terminate it by the blood of Jesus Christ. Man teleban telebebe kabaya. Ilaban telebebe lebebe kapaya. Ilaban telebebe lebabaya. Mangra papa papayo. Mumbrende rebebe rebebe abaradish. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Akataba matamata. Imato da haya. Ale bandele bebe kabaradi. Rebebe abarando rebebe abaradi. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Izunke de bebe rebebe ya. Izuke de bebe rebebe kapaya. Labra baba 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 ya. Irondo robobo rebebe abaradi. De matala bandele bebe lebebe asa. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. The, the Bible says that let this mind be in you, which is Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you. That what the color mind, what, the, what, what we call, is a mind that talks about um, um, keeping your mind on things that are above. Amen. It's also that mind that is an ego anointing. Hallelujah. It's an ego anointing that separates you, separates you from those who are mediocre, those who are going nowhere. Hallelujah. It causes you to begin to see things with the vision eyes, with the eyes of a vision. 
Amen. When you have this mind of Christ, you become bold. You become fearless. You become, amen, hallelujah. You, you become, you walk in peace. Amen. You are restful. Nothing offends you easily. When this mind of Christ is upon your life, you see things before the enemy begins to do things. Hallelujah. You have an upper hand over the enemy. When you have an, a, a, the mind of Christ, you begin to dream beautiful. Hallelujah. But many people don't have this mind of Christ. So therefore, you are going to pray this prayer loud and clear. Amen. One of the things I want you to pray is this. Amen. Say this loud and clear. Say every bondage in my brain. Because for the enemy to begin to manipulate you, for the enemy to manipulate your mind, for the enemy begin to influence your, your memory, for the enemy begin to oppress you and do one thing or the other, is because of what? Hallelujah. It's one thing or the other. What is it because? It's because of an attack against your life. Today you're going to pray loud and clear by the power in the Holy Ghost. You're going to decree this loud and clear. And you will say this after me. Say every bondage in my mind every bondage in my brain hmm. scatter and die by the fire of god are you hearing me you invoke the fire into your brain and let it shatter let it destroy let you uproot every stronghold of bondage every bondage that was planted in your brain every stronghold that came upon you because of laying on of hands every stronghold that came upon you because you place the wrong hair or wrong attachment or wrong wig on your head let that bondage catch fire let that evil structure in your brain catch fire let the structure in your memory be destroyed be dislodged by the power of the by the power of God, every headache, every oppression, every every uh, every um, uh, insomnia, every spirit that causes you not to sleep, not to even remember, to be sluggish, to, uh, let it be destroyed. Every voice of the devil that is ministering to you, let it be destroyed. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Laga baraba. Every stronghold established in my memory, every stronghold, every structure, every 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 bondage has been established in my brain. Today I pull them out, I root them out by fire. Ragazaba, randala badelia. Rebebeke biya baradish, shaga daban, talaban delebebe kapaya. Rebe biya pan kotaba hata, ilaban te rebebeke baradi. Rebebe rebebeke be rebebeke be rebebeke baradi. Rada 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 raba baka baraba baya. Zon teleben telebebe lebebe kapa, zeleben teleben telebebe kapaya, ilaben telebebe kapa telebebe kapa, libebe biya pa, manton talaman delebebe apa, ligemen telebebe lebebe lebebe rebebeke be rebebiya, ligra katara baka bara katara baba kapa. Rababaka barababaka bata rababaya Sadaban telebebe kapanta Ilon toro babo toro montore bebiya Zeleben delebebe rebebe 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 kapa Araba shata Araba baba shata Ileben telebebe lebebe lebebe kaparadia Oh rebebiya brando rebebiya brandia Zon talaban telebebe kapa Irodo rebebe 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 kebe rebebiya Rababa rebebe 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 kabando rebebe Elen delebe rebebe 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 kebe rebebiya Rebebe 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 Hallelujah. He, um, two years ago, I believe, if not two years ago, no, not two years ago, what am I saying? This was uh, 2000 and 2011, 2011. Uh, 2011, <clears throat> I was traveling overseas and um, I came again, I, I, come, I, I was introduced to a family who were very, you know, they accepted me and they loved me and Anyways, I came back to America and uh, when their son, one of their first son, um, went into serious oppression, a serious attack of warfare. Amen. And uh, from that moment, he lost his mind and he was sleeping in gas stations, sleeping outside and just sleeping in places. And there were so many things that was just wrong with him. Hallelujah. There was an affliction. There was problems. And um, he lost his mind. He just lost his mind. He lost his mind completely. And so, though he's an American citizen, but he lives in, you know, South America, Guyana. And they asked me, say, hey, listen, would you want to take care of this boy as your son? I said, really? I said, what a gift. <laughs> in the realm of the spirit, what a gift. I didn't say it out, but I just be like, wow. Everybody get a full son, well, nice. And here I'm getting a son who is not in the right mind. 
So I spoke to a doctor. The doctor said, listen, this guy can stab you. And they, they, you know, they, they, they asked me his medications, what he uses. And I told them, they said, oh my goodness, this guy cannot stay in your house. Praise God. Well, I spoke to some pastors. They said, listen to me, that is your, that if God gives you a problem like that, it's because it's an indication that God has placed some anointing in your life. Many times you want to pray for the boy, the boy starts laughing at you. He starts laughing hysterically and you yourself, you, you won't even know when you start laughing. And then this was how, this was the seriousness of his case. So anyways, I took a responsibility, uh, you know, to, to pray for him. And so many times I begin to pray and he will be laughing. I didn't care. But many times I'll be in my car, right, driving. I'll just be crying to God. Lord, release a new anointing to set this man free. I mean, many times you wake up at 9, 2 a.m. He's gone. He has taken your bicycle. He's riding outside. And you have to catch him. You have to catch him and rush and get him. I bought um, a ringer on my door in case he's leaving the house. I also bought an handcuff. <laughs> I bought an handcuff to handcuff him in the house. That was how serious it was. I bought um, 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 melatonin, a uh, sleeping pill, also to, you know, to keep him bound at night. But still, those things were not working. Hallelujah. So what did I do? As I began to worship and at some point, the Lord says, lock up yourself up in the room. And I locked myself in the room for seven days. And when I got out, I began to minister to him. One of the main major prayers the Lord said, as I was praying, the Lord opened my eyes. I saw an old man, an ancient man with beards, white beards, in his brain, living in his brain. And the Lord says, command that, that stranger to get out of his brain. You're going to pray today. Amen. The reason I'm saying that story is because there's somebody here, two or three people, that they can't, they have lost control of their mind. Their mind becomes a ha ha habitation of wickedness. All you can think of is an evil, evil, evil. There is an, your mind is under demonic manipulation. Today you're going to pray. Hallelujah. You're going to pray. Amen. Say this loud and clear. Say every stranger living in my brain. Strangers in my brain. You will shout it loud and clear. Say strangers in my brain. Come out by fire. Strangers in my brain. Come out by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Strangers in my brain, they must come out. Every strangers in my brain, come out by fire. Every stranger in my brain. Every stranger in my brain, they come up by fire. I say they come up by fire. Every stranger, come out by fire. I command every stranger, come out, come out with all your roots. Come out with all your roots, come out with all your roots. Come out with all your roots. I say stranger come out by fire let the strangers of hell let it come out right now and I remove it by fire I remove it by the blood I remove it now Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
Come out by fire. Come out with all thy roots. All your roots. Come out. Come out with all your roots. Zoom bread. Kaba. Parada. Ribebia. Ilaban. Telebebebebeka. Baradish. Come out with all your roots. Come out with all your roots. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Have you ever discussed? Have you ever discussed with someone that you begin to speak a word, and they begin to hear something different? And when you ask them, "What did I say?" they repeat something else entirely that is not of God. You pinch yourself. Are you serious? Did you really hear what I just said? Hallelujah. Did you really just hear what I just said? Is something, is everything okay? Praise God. And so sometimes you see some things in the realm of the spirit, you begin to ask yourself the question, okay, is everything okay? Is everything okay? And you know that all is not well. Hallelujah. You know something is wrong. Something in the realm of the spirit is wrong. Amen. There is a thing, there is something that interprets, misinterprets, or tries to attack your relationship with men. Or tries to attack your relationship with people. And it's a twisted mind. And such people, when they get into a relationship, or even in their marriage, amen, when they're in a heated argument, the man is saying something, the woman is saying something else, they, uh, there's so much confusion because most words are misinterpreted. Take it out of context. We are going to pray. It is, when it comes to relationship, I realize that in the Garden of Eden, it was the serpent that interfered, that tried to break Adam and Eve, gave them even a bad seed, came. This snake interrupted the relationship with Adam and God. This snake tried to befriend Eve. You're going to pray today. Every, every serpent that is ministering to my family. Amen? Because when this snake is there, it will break and shatter good relationships. When the snake is there, it will remove you from people that God has been sent in your life. When this uh, serpent is there, it will even bring confusion between you and your husband. It will bring confusion between your husband and you. Hallelujah. Everywhere you go, it will bring confusion between you and your children. It's like, what is really going on? Why is, am I getting this kind of confusion left and right? You're going to pray today. Hallelujah. You're going to pray today. Say this loud and clear. Say, every serpent interfering with my relationship. Every serpent, listen to me, what they call spirit, husband, spirit, wife. Sometimes in the realm of the spirit, if you go to open your eyes, you see that it's just a serpent. When sometimes a man is trying to sleep with a woman, the woman says, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. There is a serpent that is standing in between. You are going to pray loud and clear. And I want you to be aggressive. This is a word of prophecy for somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Every serpent manifested in my relationship. They catch fire right now. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Every serpent manifested in my relationship. Let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. Let In Jesus' name we pray. You know, the Bible says that <laughs> in thy presence is the fullness of joy at the right hand, there are pleasures evermore. Listen to me. The fullness of joy is very apparent in the life of individuals and ministers and people around the world. Amen. And I want you to understand that this 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 force of the enemy, amen, that we are dealing with right now, is something that is very, very unique, and we need to deal with this thing. Amen. When you are dealing with a serpent spirit, okay, you become moody. 
you don't even know what makes you angry there's a heaviness something just make just changes your mood you have mood swings let me just put it that way you become depressed it is a heaviness on you in fact you become even more sexually lustful um you might know sometimes you might not even be the one to feel it other people around you might be attracted because of that serpent that is upon you that is it is releasing an unusual energy of seduction and lust it's projecting it's emanating it out of your, your being so you will get confused and angry when people are drawn or enslaved by that spirit that is around your life are you hearing me today i'm saying this to somebody amen when this serpent spirit is upon upon a person an individual or is in operation or is influencing an individual this is when words are exaggerated these are this is when words are spoken out of context this is when you cannot be still something just makes you offend and now listen when this happens is playing a role it, it it brings the memory of wrong past it brings the memory of wrong past and sometimes you ask that individual um, um can you remember anything good about this person you can't even remember amen You're, especially when you when you were with your husband you ask your husband okay the, the, a man of god is asking tell me seven things about your husband that you like amen you can't even say it you can't even say two because why serpent has blinded your eyes from seeing the good things but then hallelujah so 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 that is what the serpent spirit does amen it begins to replay the negativity of somebody else even when you are driving you have come out from worship you are doing something about to end of the shower the enemy begins to bring some nonsense thoughts it is the devil hallelujah the spirit of truth does not bring those such thoughts it brings what it does not bring those negative thoughts it brings what it begins to bring scriptures it begins to bring scriptural references that you will meditate in the word of god that you might be able to you might be blessed hallelujah so i'm praying for you and i'm agreeing with you right now as we speak that every serpent that is that is that is attacking your mind listen to me it was the serpent that was speaking to eve it was the serpent that enticed eve to eat of that fruit it was the serpent that began to tell them listen to me you are naked and that's it that is over get out of here it was the serpent that spoke to Cain, kill Abel, kill Abel, kill Abel, kill Abel. And God tried to intercept that voice and it says, uh, Cain seen light at the doorsteps. And so Cain did not even listen to that voice. He went and he did the bidings of the devil. Today you are going to pray. Hallelujah. Every voice of Satan, every voice of the serpent influencing my thoughts, influencing my life, speaking to my destiny, speaking to my helpers, speaking to the ears of my life and of my children. Every voice of the serpent that is, in, listen, every voice of the serpent is the voice of rebellion. Every voice of the serpent that is speaking into me. Listen to me. When the voice of the serpent, if you hear the voice of the serpent, is very intense and anybody who hears it becomes very stubborn hallelujah becomes very so when they say things you say ah what are you talking about because that thought is not influenced by the holy ghost they sometimes the voice of the Sabbath can speak to you and it can be so arrogant when the voice of the Sabbath speaks to you you become very arrogant you become very haughty this was the word was spoken to to, to to jesus himself hallelujah do you think it was jesus just the, the devil satan serpent was manifesting and speaking to jesus hallelujah amen that's why he says turn these stones to bread Every voice of Satan causes a man to be arrogant. It causes a man to be puffy. It causes a man to be high-minded. You are today. You are going to shatter every voice of the devil. Say this loud and clear. Say Jesus had to say, Satan, get the hands from me. Meaning, get away, get out of here. Amen. And the Bible says, after he did that, what happened? Angels came to minister to him. The voice of God came. He, may, he began to hear the voice of God clearer. Some of you cannot hear God's voice. God's voice. Why? Because there is a spirit of confusion being released against you, interjected against you because of the voice of the serpent. I don't know who I'm talking to but you're going to pray see every voice of the serpent ministering against my life every voice of the serpent influencing my thoughts influencing my actions today i silence you i destroy you by fire i intercept your words by the blood of jesus christ i blot out evil words spoken by the serpent over my life open your mouth at thunder fire ragazaba rebebia barandia let the words of leban terebebia regga de rebebia barandia shagadaban talaban telebebia regga de rabamaka zombre de ilega de le makaba libran taraba barebebega berebebia baradi shan talaban telebebe shan talaban telebebe shan talaban telebebe kapa marondo rebebia let the voice of the Sabbath over my life I go Every voice of the Sabbath 
Oh Rabba Barbebega Berbebia, Mangranda Rabba Barbebe Rebebia, Arababa Rebebega Bia Barani. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Rada Rabba Bagaba Sombra de Rebebi. Zantalabandele bebe kaba, ribi biyom brondo sombra hadara badis. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody shout fire. Somebody say, God of divine favor. God of divine favor. Are you ready to pray? Amen. You will shout your name three times. Amen. You will shout your name three times. Behire. 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 Receive divine favor. You, I don't know what your name is. You will shout your name three times. I say, receive divine favor. Are you ready? Behiri, behiri, behiri. Receive divine favor. Open your mouth at thunder fire. Rabaka shatabaha. Lebante lebebe kabaradosh. Rebebe rebebe kebebe Receive divine favor. Laga rababa rababa ya baradesh. Ilondo lobondo rebebe ya baradesh. Divine favor. Divine favor. Divine favor. Oh, Rababa Rebebi Abradish. Zelebe Rebebe Abradish. Oh, Rebebe Rebebe Rebebi Abradish. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this prayer on and clear. Say, my door of prosperity. My door of favor. What is a door of favor? Meaning, when a door of favor opens for you, it means that it's a beautiful opportunity that does not require labor. It's a beautiful opportunity that breaks protocol. It's a beautiful opportunity that leads you to the palace. It's a beautiful opportunity that leads you to the king. It's a beautiful opportunity that when you come out from that encounter, you are bound to be blessed. You are bound to be blessed. Amen. This door of favor, when it opens to an individual, amen, you are crowned with royalty. Joseph went into the palace and never got back. He just, they handed him the economy. Daniel also too was interpreted and all of a sudden he was given a royal garment. Something happened. Esther, something happened. Amen. A door of favor. You are going to shout this loud and clear. Please emphasize it. Amen. Say this after me. <laughs> oh, say, how many of you understand? Paul says, uh, there, uh, there's a great and effectual door, but there are many adversaries, meaning, meaning he has to labor also to, to wrestle against the forces of darkness and clear the way. This prayer will take care of it. Say this loud and clear. Say, my way of prosperity, my door of favor, my way of prosperity, my door of favor. You know, see, one thing that the devil will do, the Bible says in the Garden of Eden, when Adam and Eve sinned against God, what happened? The enemy blocked their path. The enemy what? Blocked their path. Not the enemy, sorry. So the, 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 um, after they sinned, God himself said, okay, I will not let them eat the tree of life because they made the wrong choice. They chose the true tree of good and evil. And God now blocked that path and brought them out of Eden. Amen? So you're going to pray this prayer loud and clear. You're going to pray this prayer. Please be aggressive when you pray this prayer. My way of prosperity, my door of favor 
Open by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Open by fire. Ragaza baradari. Lebranda rebebege berebebia. Ragada rababa rebebege berebebia. Magragaza brando rebebia. Magrege de rebebege berebebege berebebia baradi. Magrada rebebe rebebega berebebia. My door of fever. Rebebe rebebege berebebia baradi. Ligrege de rebebe rebebe rebebia. Rebebege berebebe rebebege berebebi. Sandaraba kabanto rababaya. Legre Rebebe 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 gabarado, rebebe rebebe gabaradi, di lambranda rebebe gabara, rebebe rebebe rebebia, rebebe 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 gabaradi. Zungrege de rebebi abaradish. Laba laba. Raba ba raba. Raba ba raba ba. Raba ba raba ba. Iga da ba da la bande. My way of prosperity. Open by fire. Open, open. Rege de rebebe kebe rebebi abaradish. Zungla da la bande lebes. Izumbre de rebebe rebebi ash. Let the door be open. Let the door be open. Let the door be open. O zumbre de. Shadabanda raba ba ya. Irondo rebebe rebebe gabaradish. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Rebebe rebebe abaradish. In Jesus' name we pray. Last prayer before we go into the word of the Lord. By your favor. Say, by your favor. Rescue me from the spirit of lack. Do you understand the prayer? My father, by your favor, rescue me and my family from the spirit of lack. It's a great prayer. It's a great prayer. It's a great prayer. It's a great prayer. Hallelujah. It's a great prayer. Hallelujah. Whether you have children now, you don't have children, you have children in the future. Lord, rescue me and my family from the spirit of lack. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Rabba Baba Baya, by your favor. Li grando rebebe 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 abaradi. Rabba Baba Baga shante ba tele bebea. Rege de rebebe 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 Mangrundo rebebe 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 Ella grando rebebe 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 Oh rebebe 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 abaradi. La cruz zubrada sabaha. Ah, rebebe, rebebe, abaradios. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shade varada baba kazumbre dehes. Ilaban tele bebe le bebe kabaradosh. Mangrondo raba baba baba sandes. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, 
to God. God bless everyone today. Darling. Amen. It's an honor to bring the word of God to your to your, to your homes. Amen. I believe in the name of Jesus that your life will never be the same again. Amen. Today you're going to be blessed. You're going to hear um, an, encourage, an encouraging word from the Lord today. Father, we we'll thank you. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bible to the book of Acts. Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, proud to that we see that God began to speak to them to prepare themselves. Hallelujah. God began to tell them, he says, prepare yourself. Just wait. Amen. Hallelujah. Just get yourself ready. Amen. Hallelujah. And um, 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 these were the words that were spoken. Amen. Hallelujah. So they got themselves ready. Hmm. Hmm. Hallelujah. They got themselves ready and they were preparing for what God was about to do in their lives. Hallelujah. God told them, he says, tarry with me, tarry with me, wait, wait. Now, when God said wait initially, um, in the past, God said wait. And many of times they, did, they didn't take it serious. They didn't really um, take the word of the Lord very, very seriously. Amen. Um, but here we came to a season now when you've been with Jesus and Jesus says, tarry with me for one hour, tarry with me for one hour. And then you try to tarry, but you were sleeping. And then suddenly, something happened. Amen. So just came and they took your master away. Amen. That will really shake some fear. And suddenly he was killed. And now this same man appeared again. He's telling you, tarry with me. Uh, tarry with me. Tarry with me. Wait <laughs> for the coming. For, just wait for the, for the helper. There's nothing inside of you that will say, you know what? Let me go relax. Why? Because you don't want to make the same mistake the second time. Amen. Because you know what it cost you. 
Hallelujah. So we see something here in the scripture, and God Jesus began to tell the people, said, Go tarry with me, tarry with me. And they began to wait. They began to wait. And many, I want to bring a word to you, the God of the Sodalies. Some of you have been in the waiting period. Some of you have been be, be asking the Lord, when will my miracle come? When will my husband come? When will my wife come? Hallelujah. When will this financial miracle begin to take place? When will this breakthrough come? When will I get my car? When will I get my house? Amen. So many people, when will I get into school? When will I get my scholarship? Many people have, have so many things. When will I qualify? When will I graduate? And when will I get this beautiful job? When will I have this opportunity? When will my children do this? When will my children do that? So everybody is when will I be healed in my body? Amen. So one way or the other, you be making your request known before heaven. That's what the Bible says in Philippians 4, 6, it says, be careful for nothing, but by prayer and supplication, let the request be made known before God. By prayer and what supplication, let the request be made known before heaven. Be careful for nothing. Do not be careful. No, no, he said, well, do not worry about what you will eat or you will drink. Because the master knows what you need. Amen. All you have to do is to depend on him. Submit yourself to him. We looked at that a few days ago. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And also too, for those who have not heard the message, there's a message we spoke about perfume and the cologne and perfume and your um, honey. Amen. The benefits of honey is a powerful message that you need to listen to with a lot of nuggets, spiritual nuggets within the message. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe God will begin to speak to you, minister to you. Amen. Hallelujah. So these guys were in the upper room. They gathered themselves and they began to sing psalms. They began to worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, the Bible let us know that this happened for 10 days, 10 days straight. They began to fellowship and some of them were stricken by fear. So they locked up themselves. That is what happens when God wants to bless you. And God wants to bless you. They, they, God usually, sometimes there is the situations that will drive you to receive your blessings. It's shocking. It's very shocking. Um, I've never seen a man enjoying and marrying and being blessed. And then another blessing comes. Amen. Um, that happens when you've paid a price. Amen. But here what God was trying to say, for us to come from heaven, to come visit you, for a helper to come, you must prepare yourself. So the taking of Jesus, the taking away of one blessing from them, amen, it felt like their, their word was being shattered, but not really. Amen. Not really. Well, they went into a place of sorrow. Peter was crying, was feeling guilty. The devil was like saying, you see, you betrayed your master. Um, Judas killed himself and different people, they, they went everywhere. They scattered themselves. Something began to happen. Hallelujah in the Bible. And so we begin to see that God began to um, ride the way, a little bit discouraged. And some of them were scared that they were going to come after them. They locked up themselves. Amen. They lock up themselves in the place and they begin to worship. Um, Bible tells us to know that there were about seventy of them. I've been to the upper room, and you can tell that it can, it can, it probably, it can gather like, let's say, sixty people in the whole place. It's a big place. Hallelujah. So these guys began to afford fellowship. They began to sing hymns. They began to worship God. They began to seek His face. Amen. And the Lord will always allow it. What is the mystery behind it? There is always a chaos. There is always a time to be discouraged. Soon just shortly before your breakthrough arrives those 10 days just shortly before your breakthrough arrives amen before your breakthrough arrives if the lord senses warfare coming he releases the spirit of what grace and supplication if the, the ability for you to pray the, the, the something comes upon you a prayer energy something comes upon you whereby you say you know what i want to take god seriously in this season i want to tell you something some of you have been in a waiting season you have been in a period whereby you don't even understand what is really going on with your life you've been in a situation whereby it's like it seems chaotic you sometimes you've been like it's a rise of hunger in depth within your spirit you feel like you want you're hungry for what the lord wants to do in your life amen suddenly listen to me the god of suddenly is about to visit you when the god of suddenly has put on his calendar that he's about to visit you that your home is your next target or your your you're your about to be blessed one of the things that you must understand you must battle the spirit of discouragement there is a night season that that a man must confront and it's a spirit of discouragement every time you confront discouragement is just an an announcement from God that your blessings are around the corner. Many times in my life, shortly before I get blessed, I've seen the wall of discouragement. I've heard the voice of discouragement. I've seen the ministry of discouragement come uh, upon us. Hallelujah. So let us read that scripture. Amen. Um, um, Acts chapter 2. It says, When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were in all in one accord in one place. 
It takes unity. It takes unity. Let me stop there. They were all in one accord in one place. Meaning your thoughts, your mind, everything. All this worry, worry. When will I eat? Where will I stay? Where will I sleep? All have to be in one accord in the place of worship. You must you must zoom your focus in God. Once you, you collect all part of your being and you come into fellowship. I'm talking about you individually. I'm talking about you individually. Amen. You are so scattered everywhere. Your thoughts are everywhere. Listen to me. If you must hear from God, if God must visit you, you must separate yourself and come to that place whereby you, God must minister to you. Amen. Just find a place. I mean, one recently I went to a place, a, a center. They were having a revival here in the Twin, Twin Cities. Amen. And um, I was just there. I just enjoyed the God's presence. Hallelujah. Enjoyed God's presence. And his, I mean, uh, His presence came down. Praise God. His presence came down. Hallelujah. But now, so now when you begin to understand is that, and then suddenly there was, a, there was one accord one accord in one place father in the name of jesus i thank you for this world i thank you for this message that we're about to bring to the people father this is not the word of god that belongs to me it is the word of god you put in my spirit i am praying that by the inspiration of your spirit that father let there be uh, let there be a revelation let there be a revelation of light begin to emanate oh god father through this broadcast lord that everyone will be touched by your spirit that you quicken every life quicken every soul quicken every destiny let let your power, let your fire break out in every home. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I decree, I arrest every witchcraft spirit, I arrest every monitoring spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the finger of the Almighty God, let the fire of the Almighty God break out in every home. In the name of Jesus, as I, as this word of God is being released, Father, stir up the lives of many, stir up their faith, O God. Father, I, Lord, let us arise in your world today. Let us arise with your boldness. I decree that Father, you will quicken every man. You will convict every man. You will drive them to a place of holiness. You will drive them to a place of purity. You will drive them, oh God, to the place of hunger. Hunger that they will desire you with all of their hearts. As they hear the word of God, let the zeal of the Lord come upon them. Let the glory of the Lord come upon them. I pray that you will grant everyone deep understanding. Deep understanding. Deep understanding to know the depth, the length, the height of you, O God. Let the love of God break forth in your heart. Melt every stony heart. Shatter every stony heart and bring everyone to a place of repentance in the name of Jesus. Let their faith be renewed in you. Let their work be renewed in you. Let their mind be translated, be renewed in you in the name of Jesus. Cause a divine paradigm shift upon their mind. O God, God, let them begin to hear the voice of God. Let them begin to hear prof pr um, um, promises that you've declared over your people in the name of Jesus. Today, let there be a release of life. Let there be a release of life. Let there be a release of life in their body in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, put a new song upon everyone's mouth. Put a new song upon everyone's mouth and let everyone experience deliverance as they hear the word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. I always love to spend time praying like this because God always hears this prayer every time. Be it whether simple or small, He hears these prayers. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to share something very, very quickly. Amen. The God of the suddenness. Amen. Verse 2. And there suddenly, there suddenly came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. He listen to me. Most visitations I've had in my life, most visitations you can recall, did not happen because you were expecting it. You were, you were believing God to do it. But you were not expecting that day or that hour or that moment was going to happen. You were just... You just kept your eyes on Jesus. Many times it comes when you least expect. Jesus loves to surprise individuals. He loves to surprise those who are hungry for him. Amen. Are you hungry for the Lord today? I want to declare to you that you are a candidate to receive something special from God. God, for all the requests that has been happening in your life, God is about to bring that grace, that authority, that thing you have been believing God. Have you been believing God for something? It's about to happen. Hear the word of the Lord. Listen to me. <clears throat> hope deferred makes the heart sick but i pray for you today don't lose hope don't lose hope and the devil is not permitted to steal your portion in the name of jesus christ many good prophecies has been declared over you this is the hour the heavens have been open the heavens have been open for you to receive your release amen hallelujah it's almost like you have been you have been paid but you are waiting for the money to actually cash in into your account and this is where many of us are in right now i believe that's very soon God has positioned you. Yes, you actually hear the sound of my voice. God has positioned you. You are next in line.
to testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This God of the suddenly is what happens. God of the suddenly begins to satisfy you. The God of the suddenly when he comes, he shows up when you least expect. God of the suddenly can come through and help her. Listen to me. God keeps telling me, he says, son, prepare. Tell them, I am the God of the suddenly. Luke chapter 2 verse 13. Look at what it says. Luke chapter 2 verse 13. Luke chapter 2 verse 13. Amen. Okay, let me let's read from verse 9. Luke chapter 2, verse 9. And it said, And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round right about them, and they were so afraid. Listen to me. The very glory is about to be released upon somebody. Somebody is about to experience the glory of God. Somebody is about to experience the power of God. Somebody, listen to me, you have been waiting and desiring for something to happen. And suddenly, a Elijah was taken up, hallelujah, and Elisha torn up his garment and another mantle fell upon him. Listen to me, your hour has come of visitation. Strangely, you just wake up suddenly and an angel stands beside you and says, the glory that was deprived from you, here it is. He will release the glory. He will release the power. He will release the anointing. He will release the blessings upon your life. Hallelujah. So get ready for the emancipation. Get ready for the anointing. Get ready for the fire. Get ready for the glory. Get ready for what God is about to do in your life. You will begin to glorify him. You will begin to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say today? There is a miracle that God has ordained for your life. And the angel of the Lord came upon them. And the glory of God shone round about them. And they were so afraid. Amen. I love what it says in verse 10. And the angel said, Fear not, behold, I bring you good tidings. There is good news that is coming upon somebody. I prophesy to you today. There is an anointing. There is a prophetic good news that you are about to receive. That phone call is about to burst forth. Amen. Some of the times, many of the times you say, oh my goodness, I've applied here, resistance. I've applied here, rejection. What is going on in my life? No man seems to even engage me. What is really going on? I have a good news for you. You are the next in line to testify. Hallelujah. After this phone call, after this phone call, in the next five hours, somebody will receive a phone call. You'll be invited for an interview and you'll be given the job that seems like you have been you have been out of job for three for three years. But suddenly there is a right job that has been declared for your life. I'm speaking to somebody here. If you're hearing the sound of my voice, I know it and I know it and I know it. You put for a house approver. It seems that there is there's a delay, one thing or the other. Listen to me. After this phone call, this week, you will be given the car keys, you'll be given the house keys. You'll You'll be giving the car keys. I say you'll be giving the house keys. I say you'll be giving the car keys. You will gain access to that house that seems like it's unbelievable that you may have. But suddenly, God will turn around your situation. I'm seeing the, I'm seeing this because God has mandated. God has put you on a calendar. God has said, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Somebody will experience great news suddenly today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He says, for you, unto you is born the King David. Look at what it says. I want to read this one. Vast, uh, is, look at what it says in verse 12. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find a baby wrapped in saddling clothes, lying in a manger. Now talking about Jesus. Look, look, look at what it says in, in, in verse 13. And suddenly there was with the angel multitude of heavenly hosts. Ah, angels will begin to praise God for you. Listen, intercession has gone on your behalf. And very soon, very soon, very soon, very soon. Hey, the short said time to favor her has come. You listen to me. Your time of favor has come. I don't care the amount of rejection you faced. God is canceling all that away. Hallelujah. I told you before, shortly before God shows up, the devil will show up, the devil will boast, the devil will harass in your dream, the devil will torment you, you the devil will turn you to seem like you will seem like a slave boy, a slave girl before your enemy. But suddenly, God will arise. God will arise and make you and put a table before you, before your enemies. Amen. Some of them will be shocked. Some of them will be so humiliated. I see 
God about to bring that your spouse that walked away from you. God is about to bring that person back to you. Back to you. I say back to you. Back to you. Back. To, I say back to you in the name of Jesus. And they will begin to do that which they've never done before. They are about to surprise you. One woman, a man walked away from you. But God is about to bring that man back to you. Back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And God is about to glorify. God will crown you with glory in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the book of Acts. In the book of Acts. In the book of Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9. Here we see something that was happening. A man who had destiny on his head. A man who was hated by men. A man who hated even believers. A man who was, his life was wrecked. A man who was destined by hell. A man who the devil has said, this man is my hit man. This man is my number one. This man has been appointed to be used by me. I will drive him and I will lead him. Through him I will lead many to hell. Through him me through him ah listen to me as have you have the voice of the enemy be, has been said over you as the enemy be speaking to your ears as the enemy has said in your life that you you will not make heaven that you i will make sure you go to hell you and the enemy has been ministry condemnation against your life listen to me i studied this and i begin to understand hallelujah when you begin to see this he said he said verse 3 as he journeyed, this is so now, as he journeyed, as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. As he journeyed, he came near Damascus. And suddenly, yeah, suddenly, there shined around about him light from heaven. In our days now, many people don't want our souls to die. There are many souls in your life that God is about to turn them around. God is about to convert their life. God is about to give them a radical conversion by the sudden light of God. I see the light of God breaking out in your family. I see the light of God breaking out in the household of wickedness. God is about to rescue wicked, wicked people in your family. God is about to rescue. God is about to change them. God is about to drive out the form of influence of the wicked that has been exercising dominion over your family. Listen to me. If you have been seeing yourself in a different camp, if you have been seeing yourself working for the devil one way or the other, I see the light of God is about to engage you. Listen to me. If you are a sinner watching this thing, listening to me, even years to come, you're going to be listening to me maybe one year from now i decree and i declare upon you your life is wanted by god your destiny is wanted by god and there is no sin that you can do that will disqualify you from heaven when god when god when god is ready he will rescue and redeem you as long as you say lord i'm sorry i'm ready to return back to you god is ready to forgive you for all your sins for all your iniquities for all your immoralities if you say lord i'm sorry right now now, no matter what you have killed, who you have killed, no matter if you've committed an abortion, no matter how you walked away from God, if you say, Lord, I am sorry for the iniquity, for the sins in my heart, I am sorry. God is ready to redeem you. God is ready to forgive you. God is ready. He's a loving God. He's a loving God. He's slow to anger, the Bible says. He's full of mercy. Ah, you are ready. If you are ready, you will raise your hand up and say, Lord Jesus, I repent of all my sins. The Bible says, if you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you for all your sins and to cleanse you, to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Listen to me, the man at the gatherings, the man at the tomb, it, it seems like this man was a crazy man. It seems like this man was an idiot. It seems like this man has lost his life. This man was naked. He was bound by chains. But God suddenly, Jesus suddenly made a trip to the man. And the Bible says that this man's shame was turned to be a celebrity. Very soon Jesus became his friend. Very soon this Jesus clothed him. Very soon this chase was broken from him. Very soon he became an apostle of ten cities. God began to use him as an evangelist to preach in ten cities. This guy became a pastor to ten cities. Amen. His name was proclaimed all over. That madman oh, he's changed already. That madman is anointed already. That man became acquainted with Jesus. I don't care 
care what situation you are, you are about, if your daughter, if your son is under demonic oppression, they are about to have an encounter with God. Suddenly, that your son will become a Samuel. Suddenly, that your daughter will become an Esther. I decree that by the power in the Holy Ghost. Your daughters, your son that has given you a headache, God will raise them up. God will uplift them. God will favor them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that the strange hand of visitation, the visitation from the Almighty God, the shadow of the Almighty God that encountered Paul, or encountered Saul on the way to Damascus, that changed his life radically, 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 radically. I see that encounter coming upon your sibling. I see that encounter coming upon your family. I see that encounter coming upon you. The man that once hated you will begin to love you again in the name of Jesus Christ. I can hear somebody saying, Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody shout him in a periscope. We see this, amen, hallelujah, in the book of Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16, verse 26. And it said, hallelujah, amen, the Bible says at tw uh, verse 25, it says what? And at midnight, and at what? Midnight. You, you remember what I said to you again. Shortly before God will visit you, the enemy will always project all kinds of nonsense against you. The enemy will project all kinds of attacks against you. Oh, I need some help. Hearts. I need some hearts. Hallelujah. It makes me feel good when I see some hearts. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. We, 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 we see verse 23. Amen. This Paul and Silas began to go around. Uh, they began to go around, begin to proclaim the gospel. And suddenly, they met a woman who says, oh, these are the men of God. The Bible says she was possessed with the spirit of sorcery. Amen. She brought much gain to her masters by the usury. The, amen. Demons began to use this woman. She People, demons began to profit through this woman's business. Hallelujah. Through this woman's gift. Amen. Suddenly, something happened to this woman. As she was saying, Oh, these are the men of God. She followed this man of God. Everywhere the man of God went, she followed them. But suddenly, the anointing of God came upon Paul. And she, he said, Come out of her. And immediately, that spirit came out of her. And her masters grabbed hold of Paul. And her masters grabbed, grabbed hold of Silas. And they began to beat them. They began to whip them. Have you been beaten before? Have you been tried before? Have you been attacked in your dream? Have you, it just seems like somebody's beating your dreams. Someone is afflicting you. All these problems, you go fired. All these things. These are the terrors of the enemy. But guess what? And verse 25, and at midnight, Paul and Silas began to pray. At midnight, they began to pray. They began to sing praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. Somebody must hear you pray. Somebody must hear you glorify God. Somebody must hear you testify. And suddenly, suddenly, verse 26, suddenly, I, can I prophesy upon you? The God of suddenly is about to appear in your life. I said, the God of suddenly is about to appear in your marriage. I said, the God of suddenly is about to appear in your destiny. Once you was rejected. God is about to favor you. I feel the unction of the Holy Ghost. I don't know who I'm speaking to but there is a girl, there is a sister, there is a woman hearing the sound of my voice. You have wept and you have cried and I see that door, the windows of heaven open. It said, tell her, I've not forgotten her. My time for her has come. My time to redeem her has come. Tell her to be prepared. Tell her to arm herself. Tell her to pray. Tell her to worship because I'm ready. I'm coming and I'm coming and I'm coming and I'm coming. Hallelujah. Are you ready for what God is about to do? Are you ready for the fire of God? Are you ready for the grace of God? Are you ready, oh God? Because listen to me, suddenly he's about to change your situation. Suddenly that, that, that poverty that has enraged you is about to be destroyed. I see somebody is about to rejoice in God. Somebody is about to remember you for the Lord, for, for good. Somebody is about to remember you for good. In the name of Jesus, you're about to receive a good phone call. I'm not just telling you this. Be listen to me. You know I really preach encouraging messages. But this morning the Lord says, go and encourage my people. Tell them I'm coming, son. Tell them I'm coming for a great reward. I'm about to reward you. I'm about to reward you. You have worked hard a lot. You have been rejected by many. But you still kept your hope in God. You've not lost your joy in God. God says, tell them I'm ready and I'm coming to reward them. Reward them for their faithfulness. Oh, man. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. They sang praises unto God. The prisoners heard them. The prisoners held them. Those that were bound held them. Those
those who were oppressed held them those who were blind held them those who were divorced held them those who were negative held them all the naysayers held them but listen to me and suddenly and suddenly those your family who has written you off they heard you they heard you praying they heard you going to church and they're wondering who is this woman who did she think she is but listen to me and verse 26 they say and suddenly there was a great earthquake ah there was a great earthquake ah and so that the foundation of the prison hey was shaking immediately all the doors were open i see somebody about to experience open doors in business open doors in finances open doors in glory all the doors were open all the doors were open and everyone's bands was loser a kabbala badelia god is about to reward you god is about to bless you god is about to anoint you i decree in the name of jesus every slave garment everything that's kept you bound today we break loose in the name of jesus hallelujah somebody say glory to god somebody say glory to god oh God, we arise for your sake. I say, God, we arise for your sake. I say, God, we arise for your sake. God, we arise for your sake. God, we arise for your sake. Now, in the name of Jesus, what is the battle? What are the forces that you need to that you will encounter shortly before you get promoted by God? Shortly before you get vindicated by God. Hallelujah. The devil will do his worst. Amen. The devil will do his worst to hold you down. The devil will do his worst to discourage you. That is number one. Discouragement. Somebody say discouragement. You number two. You will see the enemy begin to testify against you. you, you this is when you begin. To, it seems like the enemy gains upper hand. But guess what? When the God of suddenly shows up, it means that somebody begins to speak on your behalf. God of suddenness arose for Joseph and somebody began to speak in the palace for Joseph. God will raise help where you least expect. God will raise help where you least expect. God will raise help where you least expect. I mean, God will not raise help in the prison. He will raise help in the place of favor. He will raise help in the place of honor. He will raise help in the place in the place that you least expect, that you admire. In that place that you admire. In that place that you say, ah, I can never be there. In that very beautiful house. In that very beautiful place. Even in the, in the court of law. God will raise a voice to stand for you. God will raise a voice to testify for you. Somehow, you are about to be connected to your helper because of you somebody testify because of because because of what you are going through god is about to raise a help the bible says that this guy this woman even leah was hated leah was so hated by by jacob that the bible says that god desired and opened the womb why because she was greatly despised i don't know if, if you're hearing the sound of my voice god opened a womb why because she was despised this have you been despised before you are the candidate for something huge in this season have your children been despised don't worry the God that redeems, the God that restores, the God of suddenly is about to visit you today in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will do what he has never done before with you. In your family, it's like you've been written off. When the God of suddenly showed up for David, they tried to pour oil on the brothers. The oil did not flow. Listen to me. It does not matter who is trying to take your place. When your time comes, your time comes. Nobody can take your place. Can I prophesy? I say nobody can take your place. Nobody can take your glory. Nobody can take your honor. Nobody can take your portion in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. If you'll be having negative dreams, ignore those dreams. Ignore those dreams. If you've been having satanic evil dreams, all you have to do is to pray. Just pray counsel. Just pray counsel. Ignore what the devil is doing. You're not getting to deeper bondage. God is preparing something 
in the night. He's preparing something within the dark. You see, when you take pictures, this guy takes the pictures, they go and process it in the dark. That's what they call the dark room. They begin to process it. When they bring it out, that is when you say, wow, wow. God is, you're about to come to your wow season. God, you're about to come to that surprising season. Wow. God is about to remake you. God is about to remake you. God is about to renew you. God is about to beautify you. You're about to come and brand new. I see somebody with a new car, with a new house, things about to change for your life. God's about to change your destiny. Money is about to be handed over to you. You're coming to your wow season. Your wow season. Your, your the season whereby your enemy cannot smile. Your enemy cannot talk. Your enemy cannot ask you a question. Your enemy just looks at you and ponder, how did she do it? You say, are you, are you dead? They can't respond because jealousy is written all over their face. They are just shame embarrassed. They are just, they don't know what to say. They don't know what to say. They don't know. And when they need help, they will just call you. They can't even say, I need help because they are humiliated. Hey, God, we put songs of joy in your mouth. You are about to testify. Then, oh, say this prayer loud and clear. Say, all things will work together for my good. All things from today works together for my good. All things work together for me to testify. All things, be it bad, everything will work together for my good. I want you to declare, they say, all things work together for my good from today. In the name of Jesus, every attempt of the devil will elevate me. Every attempt attempt of the devil to bring me down will lift me up every attempt of the devil to bring me shame will bring me honor can you open your mouth and say that every attempt of the wicked against my future will totally embarrass the devil in the name of jesus it will bring the embarrass the devil all 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 but god but god all this suddenly will definitely visit us in the name of jesus somebody shout hallelujah somebody say glory i feel something happening i feel something changing in your life i listen to me the remove the, the voices of doubt the voices of discouragement because i see god lifting you up i see god exalting you when it seems that sicknesses are breaking in the family when it seems that this one is being taken away by one addiction or the other the god of suddenly has heard your cry god will turn things around for your good god will multiply the blessings of god upon you whatsoever has been a mistake whatsoever door was open today will be shut and a new door a brand new door of favor as is now open for you the god of suddenness they were whipped they were beaten but the king of glory entered the prison and rescued paul and silas i prophesy god will turn around your situation for the good hallelujah one more scripture and then we get out of here hallelujah and in that same scripture look at what it says and the prison and paul cried with loud voice saying do thyself no harm for we are all here hallelujah amen thank you lord jesus this guy went on preaching i want to say this loud, loud and clear look at what it says And verse 32, and they speak unto him the word of the Lord, and unto all that were in his house. He took them into the same hour of the night, and washed their stripes, and was baptized, and was baptized he, and all his, straightway. And when he had brought them into his own house, he set meat before them, rejoiced, believed in God with all of his house. This is after the deliverance from the prison. He says, and when it was day, the magistrate sent sergeants, saying, let those men go. And the keeper of the prison told this, saying to Paul, the magistrate sent to let you go. Now, therefore, depart and go in peace. And Paul said unto them, they have beaten us openly and uncondemned, be Romans, and have cast us into prison. Now, do they trust us out privily? Nay, verily, but let them come themselves and fetch us. Look at this guy. We see the audacity. This is what happens when God rescues, rescues you. You become bold. You become like a king. You become like royally. You don't speak anyhow. You don't talk anyhow. You begin to talk. When Joseph was now put in position as a king, as a leader, this guy began to do 
he, 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 when he stretched forth his hands, he said, look at this rich man. When he, when he took the cup, he was just acting like a king. Why? Like a leader. He had a golden ring on his hand. He could make laws. He could make, he could make decrees. He could, amen. And he turned, he said, hey, it's, when he says, when he shouts, seven servants shows up immediately. Why? He was, he has now been elevated. He has now been elevated. Same thing with him. Same thing with him. Same thing with Esther. Esther was put in a place. Suddenly she was favored. Suddenly she was singled out. Suddenly now she had maids who were serving her. Everywhere she went, everybody bowed before her. And she had an unusual perfume. She had an unusual aroma. Something had changed in her life. She was no more that woman who was poor. No more that woman who walked in lack. No more that woman who, who people were pitying her. Where is your mother? Where is your father? But now she's been elevated. Is somebody here the sound of my voice you are about to be elevated god is about to elevate you god is about to see redeem you now and take you higher i said take you higher i said listen to me joseph got clothes of many colors only revealed where joseph was going to amen but he had much more than a coat of many colors what he had in that palace was greater it was greater it was greater it was greater the enemy might steal your clothes now the enemy might steal your things now don't worry what god is about to bring to you is much more far much more better shoes better clothes better when, when god clothes you he clothes you with the finest he clothes you with the best somebody say oh well pastor are you preaching all carnality no I'm I'm not preaching that when you have suffered much god will begin to bless you much are you hearing me when you have suffered much god will begin to bless you will begin to bless you it will begin to add more to you and god i feel that god you are next in line for your breakthrough if only your kingdom you have a kingdom focus for the lord you say lord this year i want to reach out to the jews this year i want to reach out to the lost this year i want to reach out to your saved father give me a bonny passion to reach, reach out to souls lord i want to win souls I cannot do it. I don't know. I have lost my hunger. But Lord, renew my hunger. Renew my zeal for the kingdom. Oh God, you become passionate. You go and you say, Lord, I want to reach, oh God, the, the those who are the, the, the orphanages. I want to reach out to them. I want to reach out to the poor. Lord, help me. God will begin to pour resources upon you and bless you. I decree that this word become a blessing and become part of you. May this word not be stolen by the enemy. But from today, may you be revived as you hear this word. In Jesus' name. I declare you fearless. I declare you bold. I declare you strong in God from today. I declare that what was lost is now being restored in the name of Jesus. I told you, this week somebody will receive an interview. This week somebody will receive a new job. This week somebody will receive a house and a car keys in the name of jesus christ i told you this and god wants me to speak on this if you are hearing me joining me for the first time we don't speak on material things like this but god says tell my people that what they've lost god is bringing it back when the devil stole that which belonged to to david and his soldiers the bible says first for samuel chapter 30 the bible says god begin to restore all that he lost he said shall i possess shall i take over and he went in the battle of the lord and the lord restored everything he took over over everything god is about to cause you to war he's about to cause you to pray and in the midst of prayer while you are waiting the god of suddenly we appear with all of your blessings with all of your possessions with all of your anointing with all of your grace even if you feel like something that your hair was shaving away your glory was shaving away there is a restoration coming upon you god will rain down fire god will rain down glory god will rain down anointing the spirit of innovation the spirit of creativity is about to flood your gates in the name of jesus christ i speak that in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost anything that is sits on your books anything that sits on your glory anything that sits on your anointing anything that sits on your talent today it becomes valuable in god today i release the value the anointing to be valuable before god let that value let your value go up now i market your value in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost and i command your value to be multiplied 10 times higher 10 times higher in god in jesus name may the heavy cardboard of his glory let it rest upon you let it sit upon you in jesus name i pray amen amen i pray for you today that you are highly favored and your life will never be the same again. Amen. Do you receive this word? Hallelujah. Shout amen. Amen. God bless you.
Hallelujah. Time is fast spent. So sorry for the long, the, 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 the spending time so long. Hallelujah. We'll try to make it just 6.30 sharp. Hallelujah. I mean 7.30 Eastern time. Amen. God bless you. Love you. Moi. We'll talk. My number is 612-701-5983. 612-701-5983. Five nine eight three. I agree with you that every satanic dream be cancelled from your life in the name of Jesus. Wicked detention for your destiny is hereby cancelled. I release the blood over your life and your family. I decree as you've heard my voice, God is obligated to protect you. God, by his mercy, is obligated to protect you and your family. May you experience unusual favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Love you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Hallelujah.